Dawson. I'll be chairing the meeting. I'm joined by our vice chair, Mr. Mitch Englander, and members uh, Gilbert Cedillo and Kern Price. Uh, we will begin this uh, meeting as we do uh, every meeting with those who have submitted multiple item cards. You'll have a total of two minutes to speak. Uh, you have to remain on topics uh, either on the agenda or that are germane to this committee. Um, if you get off topic, you will receive a warning. Uh, if you remain off topic, uh, you will be asked to sit down. If you disrupt the meeting, you'll be asked to leave the meeting uh, and escort it out. Uh, so uh, without anything further, uh, we'll start our list of general public comment speakers. First one uh, is the inimitable General Jeff, and the second one is Herman, for two minutes each. Good afternoon, commissioners. My name is General Jeff. I am a Skid Row community leader, proud Skid Row resident, and I'm here to you today um, because I'm coming back before this committee um, now that the uh, committees have been reassigned. Us in Skid Row, while we're represented by CD14, we have a very in, uh, specific parcel that is of great interest to us. It's called Firehouse 23, also known as the Ghostbusters Firehouse, which currently there are plans based on Prop K to uh, create an uh, art center for kids. That was on the ballot in 1996. Um, there are no kids in Skid Row like that right now, and so there's a whole lot of adult need in terms of specifically for as, as it pertains to the arts. And so what we're doing is there's a meeting in Skid Row next week at the James Wood Community Center. And we, of course, we invite you all to come. But um, the thing is, is we, the community of Skid Row, are, are going to show up. And we propose, first of all, we oppose the current project. And we propose that the efforts be taken by this committee and the rest of the city of Los Angeles to return this issue back to the ballot to let the voters uh, repurpose this and vote on this so this could be an art center for adult usage. Um, with the high concentration of sexual predators and, and, and child molesters in sex offenders in Skid Row, um, we think this is a dangerous uh, project that needs to be vetted out more. The city has not done anything, done enough. And there's a serious liability issues, um, even as it pertains to something as specific as loading and unloading of buses. On Winston Street, it's a through fare going one way for the businesses on Winston. On Fifth Street, between three hours of three and seven, you can't park on the street. So I don't even know where the, the, the children are going to be led on and off. So there's a lot of uh, logistics. There's a lot of structural uh, uh, um, issues. And we're just coming here to notify this uh, committee now that uh, the committees have changed. Thank you. Thank you. We, the people of this state, California, do not yield no sovereignty to which these agencies serve. So through the oral status report, the ongoing development through the FBI investigation, through city planning policies, FBI work to produce the programs and operations and multiple items of which the public interest were subjected to Jose Huizar's false, lying, malicious allegations of corruption. In turn, on item seven, nothing better for public convenience and necessity that a drunk politician by the name of Jose Huizar has no right to decide what is good for the public to know. For I am the chapter of 54950.5. I am the legislative word to this city that we will not tolerate corruption, abuse, and fraud by any elected official when determining whether or not convenience and necessity on off-site sales of alcohol beverages is for our good and our interest. Why is Jose Huizar actively participating in a bar? Who gave him the permit to 
start a business. So my point is, fuck Jose Weezar, fuck his fat wife, and I'm glad to see that Jose Weezar is no longer a part of Plum, fuck you, 42 USC, 1983. Antonio Ramirez, Wayne, David Nance. Uh, start the time. Yeah. Thank you. So, this is the first meeting of the New World Order, and we got ourselves Marquise Weezer Dawson as the new chair. Let's give him a hand. Yes, sir, sir. Now we get to item number seven. I am very conflicted about item number seven. On the one hand, I'm a pro business fool, but on the other hand, I smell corruption. I smell corruption on number seven because Jose Weezer, that drunk piece of shit, always goddamn approving them on-site alcohol permits. And Mr. Cedillo, a.k.a. Mr. Cedillo, a.k.a. Gil Nance, definitely wants to take another look at this because there may be an overextended, what is it called? Densification. Densification of too many goddamn liquor licenses in the downtown 14th district. I just think you should take that back under the new administration. Now, if this were the old administration, I'd be going like item number one, fuck you, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But now we're going to talk substance over fraud. So now we got item number three. That is over in CD number six, that little tiny Nuri Martinez trying to build this big, big goddamn housing project. So we're going to support that because that place looks like shit. Now we got number four. Now we're going to support number four, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, Jose Weezer tried to stop number four. And he was given prostitutes and drugs as a payoff, so ill rumor. So, on behalf of the FBI, on the head of David Grove Nance, we support it. And finally, fuck Jose Weezer. Send his ass to Guantanamo Bay. Yes. Antonio Ramirez, David Nance. Going once, going twice. It appears that neither of these parties are in the room, so we will move on into our agenda. We will begin our agenda by noting and filing item number one. Um, without objection, uh, we will move to item number four. Could we read number item, item number four into the record? Sure. Um, item four, Councilman, this is a report from the Cultural Heritage Commission relative to the inclusion of Times Mirror Square as a historic cultural monument. Okay, so we've got some speaker calls on this, but it's our expectation that we'll continue this matter uh, to the meeting on the 27th of uh, November. If you want to speak, you still can. Uh, I've got Mr. Nagano or TK Nagano and Mickey Jackson. If either of you want to speak today, you can. Uh, if not, uh, we will move and hear that agenda item on next week, Thursday. Next, uh, okay, uh, my name is Thomas Pardon me? K. Next, Nagano. Next I'm, Tuesday? On I'm sorry, next week, four. Tuesday. My, I'm sorry, my bad. Yes. Sorry, Mr. Nagano. Okay. I support Richard Shea's nomination of the Los Angeles Times Mirror Square as a city landmark. The history of Los Angeles was made within those walls. As reference, I recommend reading Dennis McDougall's book, Privileged Son Otis Chandler's Rise and Fall of the Los Angeles Times Dynasty and Bill Boyarski's Inventing L.A., The Chandlers and Their Times. There was a time a deal in Los Angeles always had the hand of Harry Chandler, referenced as owner of the largest real estate empire in the United States. From the Dominguez Air, Air Meet of 1910 to the 1932 Olympics and the making of Hollywood, the Los Angeles Times and the Chandler family had their prestige and wealth in the founding and creation. The Los Angeles Times Mirror Square buildings 
represents decades of Los Angeles history Thank you. and deserves preservation. Thank you so much. Uh, all right, without anything further, we'll uh, continue that uh, matter to next week, Tuesday, uh, and move to item number three, which we also expect to continue yes, until um, next week, Tuesday. Uh, item three, Councilman, this is a vesting zone change ordinance along with a modification to the CDO for a mixed-use project with 10 very low-income units in CD6. Thank you so much. So we have no speakers on uh, the queue for number three. We'll move uh, to item number six, which we also expect to continue until January 22nd, 2019. Yes, uh, this is an appeal, Councilman. It's an environmental appeal relative to a mixed-use project with 422 residential units located in CD1. Thank you. Without objection, that item will be continued. There are no uh, speakers on the queue. Uh, uh, next, we'll consider uh, items number... Yes, ma'am. Uh, city Attorney has a question. Terry Kaufman, Messiah City Attorney's Office. The written communication from the applicant on number six said he agreed to continue one week. All right. So I'm, if you... If you if the, I don't know if the applicant is here. If the applicant is here uh, and the applicant is not here, I guess. Is said yes? applicant oh. present? Okay, then if he could agree to the um, continuance um, on the record to the 22nd and then uh, put that in writing and give it to the clerk. Can you make such an agreement, sir? Uh, hi, good afternoon. Uh, Phil Becerra with Irvine Associates. We were hoping to continue the item at least just one week if that was possible. We were working with the appellant to try to mitigate the concerns and hopefully bring some sort of compromise back to this committee. I think we're going to be ready on the 22nd. Okay. So That's can you, the earliest you, within yeah. the exactly. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, and items number five and seven we'll consider together if we can read those into the record. Sure. So to clarify, Councilman, on, on number six, it's continued to January 22nd. That's right. Thank 2019. You, Yes, thank you, Council. Um, item three has been continued through to November the 27th, I believe. That's right. Thank you, Council. And item five, uh, Councilman, this is a report from the Cultural Heritage Commission to include the Hollywood Citizen News as a historic cultural monument. And you also asked for item seven. Item seven is a public convenience and necessity alcohol application uh, the property is located at 414 South Boyd Street in CD14. Okay, thank you. Mr. Bernstein. Yes, good afternoon. Ken Bernstein with Department of City Planning and Office of Historic Resources. Before you is the Historic Cultural Monument application for the Hollywood Citizen News Building. This is a two-story commercial office building on North Wilcox Avenue near Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood. It was the headquarters for the Hollywood Citizen newspaper from 1931 to 1970. Cultural Heritage Commission recommended that the nomination met two of the Cultural Heritage Ordinance findings. First, for its association with the development of the newspaper industry in Hollywood and Los Angeles, and second, for its architectural significance as an excellent and tax example of Art Deco commercial architecture in Hollywood, and the Cultural Heritage Commission recommendation was unanimous. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, so we've got no speakers on five. Uh, do we have any speakers on seven? All right, so we'll, we will uh, take item number five on consent if there's no objection. That'll be the order. And then on item number seven, let's see here. We have Lee Robin, Rabin? Very close. Rabin. Rabin. Yes. Thank you, sir. Sorry for mispronouncing your name. You've got one minute to speak on uh, item number seven you're on? Item number seven, yes. Yes. I'm a land use consultant. Uh, I own property in Radius. Uh, this application and my land use office and practice uh, office is also within Radius. Um, we began this project about three years ago. Uh, met with the council office. So we're most proud of what we're most proud of is the outreach that we conducted in the neighborhood. We met with the council office. We have a letter in support from LAPD, letter in support from the downtown uh, uh, Los Angeles neighborhood council, and a letter of support from the Central City East um, Association. In 2016, we notified seven 
sensitive land uses within 200 feet or within 500 feet of the property. We also notified 353 owners and about 461 residents. Um, here, when we got ready to bring it before the commission to ask for the caldera approval, in September, the council office asked us again to re-notify the owners and the sensitive land uses, which we did in September, and we had no response. I know you have all the particulars and all the statistics on the size and how the, the unit will operate. The last thing I'll tell you is that we're moving a, a historical dive bar. Please don't disrupt the meeting. But that is your time. Thank you. Yes, so <laughs> thank it. you. Um, if there's uh, no further comments from members, we will approve this item on consent. You already had your uh, comment, General Jeff, in the beginning. That's why you got more than... No, no, no. We gave you two minutes in the beginning, so that was one minute for general public... Con yeah. I figured because you stayed on the same topic. All right, so that takes us to item number two. Uh, yes, Councilman. Item two, Councilman, it's a communication for the mayor relative to the appointment of Nicholas Schultz to the Central Area Planning Commission. So, um, uh, Mr. Schultz, thank you so much for being here, and thank you for making yourself available to serve the great city of uh, Angels. Uh, if you can just take a second to tell us a little bit about yourself and what interests you in serving and, and uh, what you hope to accomplish. Absolutely, um, and good afternoon, honorable council members. My name is Nick Schultz. I work as an attorney for the state of California. Uh, I'm currently a member of the Los Feliz Neighborhood Council, and that's really what got my interest in uh, continuing, maybe expanding upon my service to the city of Los Angeles. Um, what motivated me to run for neighborhood council in the first place uh, was the fact that I, like many of my friends, am a renter. I'm concerned about uh, the affordable housing crisis that we have, and I believe that with my legal background and my connections throughout the central area that I can be a voice uh, for those uh, that live here and work here, and I can help make sure that we have a balanced approach to growth. The only thing I'll note is that I live in the central area in Los Feliz. I work right down here downtown at the Ronald Reagan State Building, so I very much have a vested interest in uh, seeing how this area develops in the next few years. I'm happy to answer any other questions that you have, and thank you all for your time and consideration. Thank you so much. Uh, questions, comments, members? Mr. Cedillo? Excellent. All right, well, uh, there it is. It's unanimous. Look forward to seeing you at City Council. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. All right, uh, I believe that clears the desk, but I've got, uh, is that correct that it clears uh, the desk? Yes, Councilman, just general public comment. Okay, I've got Antonio Ramirez, who I think we missed you, Mr. Ramirez, because you were not in the room, so we want to give you a couple of minutes to speak, and then uh, General Jeff uh, will give you a minute after Mr. Ramirez to speak um, on the matter much. that, that uh, you overlooked. Thank yes, you very much. Yes, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that one day, in this administration, we can come back and build and develop beautiful neighborhoods that, is, that are safe, secure, protected with privacy. That's what I want. So all good law-abiding citizens can live freely, healthy, happy, and full of vibrancy. That's what I want. That's what I fight so hard. I want the drugs and the gangs to stop. I want the drugs and the gangs to stop. And this mayor has done a poor and shameful um, way of, of handling. There is no public safety. We've got to clear the wreckage before we can actually build on and, and create these beautiful neighborhoods. Are you, any of you innovative? Are any of you with a brain function that can implement this? Can any of you do it? Because I sure as hell would. Give me a bazooka and I'd do it. I'd create those damn good neighborhoods. You know, we need somebody with balls to go out there and start a, 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 a network of greatness and build great, safe neighborhoods for the future children. Let's leave them a wonderful um, future. I had a beautiful childhood even in Mexico. Beautiful, free, and full of love. I want that for the future children. That's what I want. And um, again, thank you for Donald Trump and, um, and, and America. I want, to, I want to wish all of these beautiful people who have done so much for America and our military veterans and our pilots and our aviators, I want to wish them the most happiest, healthy, joyous, safe, and free Thanksgiving. 
May they have the best Thanksgiving that they've ever, they've never had in their lives. I just want to shower them with kisses and hugs and say thank you to my pilots and military because you've given me hope even when I'm down in despair. I see you flying above and I thank you because I just adore watching you. You represent everything that I love and I thank you. I thank America and I thank Donald Trump. I am so grateful to live in America and be homeless. I'm grateful. Thank you to all and God bless America. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Chair uh, Harris Dawson. Uh, my apologies for, uh, I haven't been here in a while, but uh, my name is General Jeff and I am the um, Chair of the Skid Row Neighborhood Council Formation Committee. Uh, I'm here in the capacity as a Skid Row Community Activist. And just as a formality, I want to say that uh, the constituents that I, um, I represent, uh, we approve uh, BAR 107 applications. Um, it's in Skid Row, and is a, you know any application that's in our, our community is of great interest to us, and so we just want to officially go on record saying that we approve this project. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, and with that, we are adjourned. Yes, Thank sir. you.